So how does the incantation go? Let's start off the show with that. Pretend well, you had some fairy dust. All right, I will magically, virtually sprinkle you. So it's okay. shimmer of hope, shine of belief, mm. glisten of happiness, mm. beauty of peace, and get over here. A little pinch of humor. A pinch of humor Can't always, forget that. always goes yeah, a long so way. So it's a magical chant that I have to spread love to people that I don't even know and hopefully make them happy. I'm almost afraid to mention it because it's my special favorite spot in the province, but the, the Lady of Lords Grotto oh, in Flat yes. Rock, we had Magical. a very special little road trip there. How did that place hit you? Well, it felt very spiritual and very holy. Mm. And I just wanted to just walk around and take pictures of all the angels. Because as you know, I'm an angel freak. Mm. I've been into things with wings, it was fairies to start with. But anything with wings, I just had to, you know, like our house is filled with angels. Before you even get in the front door, there's angels everywhere. I just, angels are so cool. What sparked your love? And I remember it was fairies for a long time too. What yeah. do you think sparked your love of like fairies and magic. angels? Magic. I really believe in magic. Mm. And I think that angels are magical. We used to tease you that you like to go to a place called the Land of the Bunnies. Yeah. Where everything is just lace it's and perfect wonderful. and it's magic. It's happy, happy times. <laughs> yeah, I just You really, live in the land of the fairies, or yeah, the land of the land bunnies. land of the bunnies. I actually, <laughs> and I, I am an artist, and I paint, and one of the pictures I painted was me in a field with all these bunnies, because that's where I live, in my mind. I, I do want to talk about your painting. Why don't you like to sell your artwork? That's a question I cannot I sell any of it. It becomes like a child. Yeah, it'd be and like selling a kid. Yeah, I paint it, and then I have to sleep with it in my room, and look at it, and kind of look at it, and think, oh, well, I need to do that, and... But I, I've given one away um, at a charity auction, mm. and it actually sold. I was thrilled about that because when I paint, it's really um, it's kind of a hit and miss sort of a thing where it can be really amazing, and I paint really fast. I'm humongous, like that size canvas. Huge. But I'll be done in an hour because I'm obsessed to fill up all the space. But then I look at it and I go, oh my God! It's like the painting paints me, honestly. I don't even know where it comes from. It just comes through and you, some yeah. are so good, and some are really, really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on my mood. <laughs> I think they're all great. Do you, well, do you ever trash the bad ones, or you just keep all no, of them? No, I have them all. I mean, there isn't a space in either house in California or here that doesn't have a painting of mine on it. I just have painted so many things. What's your favorite thing to paint? Um, probably landscapes, because of Clifford George. But I did paint originally angels, you know, and flowers, flowers and angels. 